Hey there, rock stars, surf guitar fans, and 60s psychedelic freaks. I'm Eric Andreas, your guitar sage, and I'm going to show you how to play Wipeout today. This is a super easy tune, and probably, um, probably one of the funner beginner songs to learn. This is not difficult. Um, I'm going to show you some really cool stuff about this and point you to some other resources that may help you to play guitar as well. Okay? So, this lick is based off of the 12 bar blues progression. So this is a chord or a chord progression that is just all over blues and jazz and rock and pop and even country. And so it's based off of this 12 bar blues progression. If you would like more information about that here on YouTube, type in 12 bar, like the number 12, the word bar blues, your guitar sage and I will tell you more about this chord progression and how important it is to know. Okay, so let's learn the licks here. It's gonna go something like this. This first lick is going to be on strings three and four, and you'll be in the second position, so your finger will be at the second fret here, and it's gonna go like this. I'm gonna play it real slow, and I'm gonna pick over here so you can see. Now you could, you could bring this up to the seventh fret and play the exact same thing, or that's kind of a fast shift, so you could opt to play it on the next string down up a fret, but the fingering's gonna be slightly different. So instead of this first note's going to be right here in your little walkthrough notes are right here. So. The next riff is going to go. And then back down. The third lick is the same as the second one, just bumped up to the fifth position. Okay, so that one ends a little differently. And then back down. So again. And then back to the beginning. So slightly different there at the end. So what we do is you mash your finger down to to hit that top note. Okay. Now, that is the main lick to the tune. Um, the way they play it on the record is there's one note that's slightly different, but that's going to confuse you if I show you that. But uh, for those of you that know a little bit more about guitar and have been playing for a little longer, um, instead of Let's see. Instead of going, they play this note an octave lower. So. So that's a little bit of a difference there, but either way, you play that song, there ain't no one that's gonna say you're playing it wrong, okay? Except for me. No, not really. Um, so you can play it either way, okay? Now, there's a second part of the song. These are these chords, so. Okay. Now we're 
back into it again, okay? So here's the formation. Basically, you're taking an E formation. If you know your E major chord, if you don't know your E major chord, you need to go to yourguitarstage.com, your guitar link is below in the video here, and get the free ebook that I have that teaches you how to play guitar and teaches you licks and blues and chords and all, all sorts of stuff. But it's based off of this E form, and that E form, if moved up the fretboard, becomes all these other chords, right? Looks like a bar chord, but the way we're going to be playing it is we're not going to bar anything. We're just going to play the five or the four middle strings. Okay, and so it's got this form of a B major bar chord, but instead you're just playing the four inside strings. So the first finger is right here. This is the ninth fret or seventh fret, by the way. Second finger's there. Pinky's here. Ring fingers right there. And so when you do this, play it like that on your fingertips. Bring your thumb up over the neck if you can to mute that low E string. The high E will probably naturally be muted just because of the way you're holding your hand. And then that's your chord. So you'll want to give it a real quick smack and then mute the strings. You don't want to go. That'd be weird. Okay, and then when you hit your E, you're just hitting an open E, and then back here. And then you can take this whole guy right here and bump it down to an F sharp. That's right there, which is the second fret, zero, one, two. So easy enough, right? Now, if you, do want to, if you did want to play these chords as bar chords, It'll sound a little bit more full. Uh, if you're not used to playing bar chords, then this is the time to get used to playing bar chords. I have several videos here on YouTube that'll help you. The first one is one called the Effing F chord. That's E-F-F-I-N-G, F chord. And I will show you how to play the F chord, the dreaded F chord that everybody talks about. Guess what? F chords cringe when I step in the room. Why? Because I will teach you how to play an F chord there's many different ways to play the F chord. You can kind of sneak into playing it. So uh, if you watch that video, you'll know what I'm talking about. And once you know how to play that F chord, that opens you up to about 300 new chords instantly. And you can know about those chords by here on YouTube, typing in your guitar sage bar chords, and I'll show you how, to, how that one chord will turn into 300 some odd chords, okay? Okay, so you could play, once you watch that video and you know how to play this, you can play these as bar chords. And then your open E. F sharp. E. B. Okay, now if you wanted to noodle over the top of this, if you wanted to solo, you could play the blues scale in... in B. We'll sound real nice over this. There it is. There's our one. So we're in the key of B. So you could play the blue scale. If you don't know that scale, you want to sound bluesy here on YouTube, type in your guitar sage blues. I believe I've got a video for that. If I don't, it is definitely in the free ebook that's at yourguitarsage.com. Download that, it'll be in there. Then you can noodle over the top of this. The girls will flock to you. That's how it works. With some practice, of course, okay? I am Eric Andreas, also known as Your Guitar Sage. And if you need help with guitar, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you. I have the free book for you. Uh, once you sign up for that, then if you want to be on my email list, I also provide all sorts of wonderful goodies for you. No poop in your email box. It's all good stuff. It's all stuff about guitar. I don't send out anything unnecessary. So um, I do give you copies of my books as I write them, and I am writing all the time. So uh, make sure you sign up there. 
Also, there's a free video guitar series that you can find at unstoppableguitarsystem.com. Link is below. If you would like to check that out, there are free videos there that are high def that you can't find anywhere else on the web, and they are specifically designed to help beginners <clears throat> understand how to approach the guitar. So, if you like this video, hit thumbs up and please subscribe. Spay and neuter your kitties and dogs. I'm Eric Andreas. Thank you.